All right, so this is what? Problem 34 out of uh, section 47, an optimization problem. Stuart, we're going to review. A fence eight foot tall, runs parallel to a tall building at a distance four feet from the building. What is the length of the shortest ladder that will reach the ground over the fence to the wall of the building? And I did in colors. I got the ground is green, the building, the gold coins is black and yellow. The ladder is blue, the eight foot fence is red. So this is eight foot, and this distance right here is four foot. And that's all you know, and you know the blue has to be a line. And what I think you can pull off of this, if I do this in purple, is we have this picture. And this is not the scale to the picture I just made. Whoops. We have an eight foot ladder, a four foot distance between, some y height of y, which we don't know, some height of x in front of there, and the ladder will go the way, all the way. And it says they want the shortest ladder. And I'm going to call the ladder z. Okay? So we want to optimize z, right? We want, there's nothing to do with time, it's a non related rate. We want to minimize the distance to Z, okay? So if I think about that, and I go, okay, we're going to minimize Z. I'm going to draw the two triangles separately right now. I got X and 8, and I have X plus 4, Y, and Z. So if I'm going to optimize here. I'm going to say that Z squared equals Y squared plus the quantity x plus 4 squared. And I can't optimize right now. Does somebody remember why at this point there's no optimization going to occur? Two variables right on. I can't take a derivative to find the max or min with two variables. So i got to get rid of y or z. Well, I need to make a relationship between y and z. Unfortunately, we have two similar triangles. Angle, angle means angle, angle, angle. So, Oh, no. <laughs> Does everybody agree that 8 over x and y over x plus 4 have to be the same ratios? Right, cross multiply. Algebra time. Oh, icky. Icky. So, divide by x, right? I think y equals 8 plus 32 over x. Oh. Now. I don't know, maybe I should solve for x and no. Well, you could solve for x here on this equation. Do we agree? If I do that, see, I'm going to take just two seconds here and think of our plight. I can either substitute this or I can substitute this. What's going to be easier? take the derivative of I solved both that equation for both x and y. For, huh? You didn't get this? Okay. Oh, you can do that. Listen, no, you're not wrong, but it's really ugly to do it that way. Because it's not. Is it really? Did it work out better to call that 8 and y? I don't know. I suppose it doesn't matter. I'm going to if I substitute this, at least y squared would say the same, but I kind of, I'm with Brandon. I like this better. If time was of the essence and I was stressed on the AP, I would not have even tried this. I'd get here and say, okay, slap that sucker in, right? Now, this is where we're really happy that we're getting good at the chain rule. Now, does anybody remember my trick before I go one step forward? Instead of calling this little z squared, I'm going to call this big Z. Right? Because we learned some tricks here. And one of the tricks we learned when you have Pythagorean theorem and an optimization problem is that if you minimize the distance of a ladder, is the distance squared minimized? Yes. So let's not get the square root over there. 
So now, if I go in entire page view so I can see what's going on, now I can say, oh, well, now I want to find capital Z prime. And I would argue that instead of squaring these out, this is a case where it's faster just to do the chain rule. Two comes down. What's the derivative of the inside? Well, derivative of eight is zero. The derivative of 32x negative one is negative 32x negative two, right? Plus the derivative of this is just two x plus four. The derivative of the inside is one, so I'm done. And while that, you know, has a pain, I have it done. I'm going to take a pause. You know what? I don't want to do this one hand. Do you want to do this one hand today? Let's put it in our calculator. Let's not do this. Today. Let's pause the video. And we'll just hit it. I should say this. Okay. Hey, everybody. I did the solver. I put it up here. 6.3496. So I get that when I set z prime equal to 0, then x is equal to 6.3496. I suppose the units here would be feet. You guys all agree? Now, listen, is this a minimum or a maximum? It's got to be a minimum. Think about it, because couldn't we just go as far out as we want? Now, how can I prove this? I could prove this is a minimum through the first derivative rule. I don't want to take the second derivative rule of this, do we agree? But I could try values less than, all right? 6.24. What if I plug in 0? I get, you know, well, I can't do 0. If I plug in 1, positive, negative, so this is negative, positive. It's going to be a negative, so it goes from negative to positive, because it's negative, and then if it goes like 100, it's going to be positive. So that is a minimum first derivative rule would justify it. If I had to justify this as a minimum, I have to do the first derivative rule. But that's not what it asked for. This is x. What did it ask for? Ladder. The length of the shortest ladder, because if Brandon's going to be Captain Cat Burglar to the goal, he has to know how long a ladder to grab. All right. So I would go back to. Why would he be a burglar if he knows how many computers he gets at his job with knowledge? Well, APs are coming. All right. Plus all the really good. Criminals are calculus students, unfortunately. Don't do it. Don't go to the dark side. Absolutely. All the ones who don't get caught. Okay. That is z squared. Do we all agree? Because that is a z squared. So if I took the square root of that sum, which I suppose I can do on my calculator again, I'm going to pause and just put up an answer. I'm pretty sure I'm right when I watch my math here. Um, I get 16.64, that's 277, and then you get the square root of that. 16.6477 feet ladder. So, when you, and by the way, if you're a cat burglar, you might as well just steal the ladder. Make sure you steal an 18 foot aluminum ladder to get your distance here. 16 foot ladder, what? 16 foot and how many inches? About eight? 16.77. Inches. It's an adjustable ladder. Listen, and the nice thing you know is you know you got to set up, you got to lay down and be six feet out from the fence, set your ladder, tip it up. Hopefully the fence isn't electrified. Why? It's touching the fence, guys. Similar triangles. This touches the fence. Uh, aluminum is a big deal. Fiberglass would not be a big deal. That's why they weigh so much. All right, that's that problem.